Welcome back, everybody. Joining us this morning from Humane Society of West Michigan is their executive director, Holly Gills. Good morning, Holly. Hi, Leanne. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good so far. And uh, I always, I'm always better when I see the little furry critters there. Oh, and this face right here. Who is this? Luna? Uh, this is Luna. Oh. Yeah, she came to us uh, actually a few months ago as a kitten. Somebody found her in the engine of their car oh. um, and she had a fractured tail. So we actually ended up having to amputate most of her tail. So she has a really cute little stub. Um, she does have some incontinence. So she uses her litter box, um, but she does leak a little bit of urine um, throughout the day. So she really needs a house that has like hard surface floors. It's not terrible. Um, and we have put diapers on her. She doesn't love it, but that is a another solution so she really needs a special home but she is the sweetest and the most playful kitten ever and she's really well socialized to other animals so oh, well, she has a beautiful little face for sure and then we need an update on the St. Landry's uh, puppy mill rescue Yes, so um, Bissell Pet Foundation helped with uh, over 100 dogs from a puppy mill um, in Louisiana a few weeks ago, and we took 10 of those dogs, and um, we just wanted to give an update. Everybody got their medical. They had lots of eye issues and rotten teeth and matted fur, so everybody got groomed and got dental work done and got all their medical vaccines and stuff, and um, they're all now in really, really great homes. So we just wanted to say a huge thank you to the Bissell Foundation and also to our community that supports us. We're completely donor driven. And so we can't help animals like that without the support of the community. And we're really grateful for that. We love wags to riches stories, don't we? Yeah. Oh, so cute. All right, you guys, uh, uh, maybe it's the spring season, but it also means it's kitten season. What would you like to say about that? Yeah, it sure does. Kitten season really is a thing. So here in Michigan, at least, um, kitten season kind of starts in the spring. So usually March or April and goes through um, late fall. Uh, usually by November or so, we really don't see many kittens. So we have our first uh, mama and litter of kittens have arrived at the shelter. They're actually in a foster home now. But uh, if anybody's interested in fostering, the spring and summer months are always the most busy for us. And mm -hmm. um, anybody can foster a mom and kittens. Uh, all you need is a bathroom or a laundry room or a little space that you can give them um, until the kittens are big enough to go up for adoption. So if you're interested, you can find uh, the link to apply to foster on our website. All right. And finally, kids summer camp. I, I mean, we are in April already. I know. Um, spring break camp is full, uh, but summer camp is right around the corner. So all through June, July and August, we have all sorts of different camps for all sorts of different ages of kids. Um, and it gives them a chance to learn about animals, uh, shelter animals, companion animals, what animals we can find in our backyards. They also get to do fun crafts and, um, of course, spend time with the animals that are at the shelter. So pretty popular. The kids usually really like it. Oh, I can't wait for Bronson to be able to do that someday. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Have a wonderful Easter weekend. You too. Thanks so much. Thank you. And for all the details, just go to Humane Society of West Michigan or hswestmi.org. They're located at 3077 Wilson Drive Northwest right here in Grand Rapids. You can call them, but make sure you go on their Facebook page and again that website because they're really great about putting fresh pictures on there of all the beautiful little creatures that they have.